Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm Alicia. And we're the Dixon Twins. Welcome back to our channel. So today we have a fun and great recipe today. We want to invite you guys to come in and make some homemade bread with us. And who doesn't love homemade bread? This is a quick, classic, homemade bread beer recipe. Yes, it actually has beer in it. And we're going to do something a little special with this bread. Normally you can use um, any kind of beer that you want, but during this fall season, we are going to use a pumpkin ale to enhance the flavor of this beautiful baked beer bread. Oh, wow. A, a, uh, uh, a twist of pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin ale. That sounds delicious. So yeah, this is a really um, this rustic loaf is really easy to make, whether for game day or just for a cozy snack. So it's only got six ingredients. All right. How easy is that? All right. Doesn't get easier. Let's head to A&M's kitchen. Yeah. So this quick, simple six ingredient recipe is going to be three cups of sifted all purpose flour. We like to use King Arthur. Um, then we're going to do one tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of salt, two to four tablespoons of granulated sugar, depending on how sweet you like your bread, 12 ounce bottle of beer, we're using the pumpkin ale by Samuel Adams, and we're going to use two tablespoons of butter, melted, plus additional for greasing the loaf pan. So this is what's going to make your bread a crumble perfect flaky bread. It's called the sifted method. If you have a sifter, you can sift your flour. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use a knife and then we're going to put, we're just going to do that three cups of this, just like that. We're going to spoon it off. So if you don't have a sifter, then you can do it this way. Somehow this makes it your bread crumbly and perfect and crispy and we don't know what happened to our sifter We need a new one, but this is how the we're gonna do it. right if you don't have a sifter So we're gonna do three cups of sifted flour Into the bowl so in a large bowl. We're gonna whisk together the three cups of sifted flour we're going to do the baking powder the salt, and then we're going to do the sugar, all our dry ingredients, and then we're going to pour our beer in and stir to combine. We're going to pour in our 12 ounce beer at room temperature. So we're just going to whisk this about five to six times. You don't want to overdo the batter. You still want it. You just basically want all the ingredients to be wet and thick. Yes, yeah, it's okay to keep it chunky. Just want to make sure all the it all comes together. The dry ingredients, just like that. Okay, make sure all the dry ingredients are done in there. Okay, so we've buttered the pan. And then we're just going to put this all into the bread bowl, the bread pan here. And we're going to evenly put, put that all in there. Okay, so we're just going to distributely even the bread loaf all the way around the four corners. And then we're going to drizzle our two tablespoons of butter right onto the bread. Okay, and then how long are we going to put that in the oven for? I think we uh, already said. Uh, yeah, 375 <laughs> for 35 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. We're going to bake this bread uh, for 35 to 55 minutes until the top is golden and a cake tester inserted into the center of the loaf comes out with just a few moist crumbs attached. It will depending on the heat conductivity of your oven. So here we go. We're going to put it in and let's bake away. Wow, look how beautiful and golden brown this is. So we're just going to, you, you're supposed to use a toothpick, but you can use anything. Just stick it through to the center. And you want it to come out clean. Yep, so the knife 
is clean. So that means the bread is done. And we're just going to take it out and let it cool for about 15 minutes. Hello, friends. Oh my God, did you see this delicious homemade rustic loaf? It looks incredible. I'm so impressed. I mean, we love baking. We don't do a lot of it, but baked goods are one of my, our favorite things in the whole wide world. Like I love bread, baked breads, uh, cake, cupcakes, all baked goods. So, um, we don't do a lot of it, so this was really fun and super simple. You guys would not believe how simple this recipe was, and we can't wait to check this out. And we want to do a lot more baking because we love baking so much. Not only is it enjoyable, but it smells delicious and tastes delicious. So allow me to give you a piece of this gorgeous bread. Well, we already have Thank one you. here. Right, I already have one toasted, <laughs> so. But we use this really thick, look how thick thick that is. Look how beautiful this came thick, out. Thick, rustic, and there's a, uh, you don't use yeast in this one, so the bread does not need to rise. No kneading required. So yeah. simple, so easy. I and cannot a wait. Little, a little bit of butter. Even though it was cooked with butter, if you want to indulge a little bit, feel free to add a little bit more. Who doesn't love bread and butter? That's the best part. I'm going to give a generous helping of my butter here. Forgot to do our cheers, Emma. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, A. Cheers. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. I can taste the pumpkin hell. How would you describe this to us, Alicia? This is a, a lightly sweet flavored bre bread with a buttery, crag, craggy crust. Yeah, that's a, it's a perfect description. It's all craggy. And that was due to the sifting of the flour, remember? That, yeah, that's the most important part. And that's what gives it this texture. The texture is very important. If you uh, whisk it too much, you all come out with this rustic style. Look how rustic that is. <laughs> I think you, it, you get that, guys? I think it is another rustic. Guy. Oh my gosh, so me, I think, um, mm. gosh, it's dense, it's full, it's thick. Um, so it's how filling. would you rate this, Michelle? Well, let me describe it a little more, Alicia, and I'll be happy to tell you. So I do find it sweet, I, I find it thick, um, and the bread is super soft, but not too hard, not too crunchy. Mm. Um, Honestly, it's amazing. I know it seems like you guys I'm always giving a 10, but I think it's because they make like the most amazing recipes and I don't know, they turned out incredible. So I was like, everything is a 10, 10, 10. I cannot believe how amazing this came out. For like, us. are we ever going to find a bad recipe? For the first time making this loaf, this it looks... I think like the chia pudding was probably one of our worst recipes. I mean, it's really good if you love chia pudding, but um, other people love it. But I think the chia seeds were... I don't like chia seeds too much. So, I'm going to give this a 10. I am going to give this an 11. I'm moving up the scale because it's so amazing and so delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't be discouraged by our chia pudding recipe. It's actually really delicious. And check it out in our previous vlogs. Is Alicia giving me the evil eye? Because I said no in our chia pudding. <laughs> yes, it's an acquired taste, but it's amazing. So don't be discouraged because it's really awesome. But if you don't like chia pudding, some people don't. You know? Okay, so on that note, we are going to say goodbye. We're going to end our video here. This video. And we're going to have a lot more baking recipes coming up. And yeah, so watch more of our videos. Continue to like and subscribe. And we'll say goodbye. And thank you for baking with us. We love this. And we love you guys. Bye. Bye.